Greetings, fellow Space Commanders. Welcome back to Galactic Civilization 4 um, beta version that we are playing here right now. Now, I got your feedback. I know, I know. There is a bit of a mistake here in my governing structure. Um, very important one, actually. We got two very weak planets here. That is Mars and Artemis. Both of them don't really provide me a whole lot of stuff, right? So we only get like three tiles on Mars. And it's a real waste of using a governor on this one. Also, approval rate rating is kind of low with 50% and in our team is it is only 44% and this is actually because we are governing these planets without anything really to govern right so they are their own core walls but have nothing to provide for themselves um, except for earth nearby so we want to get these two planets into earth's system there once more and how can we do this well actually let's go for my leaders we go for the governors and here we have all the governors that we use right now way too many right so let's get rid of uh, amare boas uh, for mars so we can fire this guy he's still going to belong to us but he's no longer going to be a governor and we're doing the same thing for our teammates. also let's fire this governor that leads to the fact that these planets now as we can see are providing earth directly again with the resources and also their approval rating is skyrocketed to 75 percent once more so that was a real help here right this one our team is actually has almost 80 percent approval rating just because of that and as we can see they're providing now their workforce and their resources back to earth again thus also boosting our production our researching and our ship production for the earth system once more and this is also a really nice effect how everything is now drawing into earth and i think over here with this planet that we can actually do the same because this is a really low um low class planet there it doesn't make that much sense to have it over there and let's just go ahead and also for this one let's fire that so we're down to two governors now only um this one as we can see also to the nearest planet it's providing now everything and thus it's also boosting its own approval rating to 80 percent once more also it is protected now again planetary defense right because it belongs to the earth system now the other planet that we still have is old Earth. This is a governing planet and we're going to keep it like that. It's a pretty big planet. It is perfect, suitable for its own core system, right? For its own core world. And we do have some other colonizable planets nearby. Those two here that can provide them to Old Earth once more. So I would like to colonize these before anything. There's the survey ship coming by. That's fine over here. And let's just go back to my governors here. So we have now these three leaders available and we still have some open ministry posts. So the Minister of Exploration that requires um diligence based on it and we do have diligence wise she's really good at that and she is focused let's put her on exploration this gives me now a permanent boost of plus one for all my ships and also a uh, ship range is increased by 10 for the non-probe ships also we have the minister of tourism this one is going with the social skills. So Amar here is rather good at that. Not perfect, but he's okay. -ish. And this one gives me plus five income with the tourism. Right, so my ministers are working. There's still something else though, and that's the diplomacy. We are having Altorian Republic and Crin Syndicate at the moment as empires that we know. And we could put now my, um, my leaders there to that. And they will, you know, boost the influence and also boost our reputation with them. And thus, we are friendly with them. And with the Crin Syndicate, we are only warm. Let's try and recruit someone. This guy here. And he will also he will be working on the Crin Syndicate for us. Thus boosting it um, to higher levels there. So they are less likely to attack us, right? That's the important thing here. Perfect. So I think with the governing structure remodeled, I think we are on a good term right now. We're still having a negative income there. Now, since we have now some higher approval rating, um, I think it's better or I think it's best to actually switch to medium tax rates. This one gives me a positive income again right so now we're at 3.3 uh, positive and as we can see approval rating has tanked a bit um we can however boost this one further by having more buildings than for example there a freighter has been finished with the latest tech that we have so with this we have now the ability to open up trade routes and we need to send this one as far as i know to another empire right so we have up there we have actually an empire. I just need to make sure that there's no enemy forces in between. And we're going to send it over here now to this empire, to a planet. And then we could open up a trade route. And that's my goal. Let's end the turn because there's nothing else that we could do right now. 
And let's also just check my income there. Food is now fine. There's also money coming in. Perfect. We could, by the way, also boost another colony ship. In that case here, approval rating is already pretty down, so I'm not doing that for now. One problem is Altruff that has a pretty low approval rating. Uh, we do need to do something about it. And I would like to get us an entertainment district. Um, let's just see if we have any positive tiles here that could boost that. There's some wealth, there's manufacturing, there's tourism. Unfortunately, there's nothing really for happiness or approval ratings, right? So I do just need to build it somewhere where it's safe to build it. And I think a plane is fine for that. And then we have the entertainment district and this provides. And let's actually boost it to the front of the queue um, so that we can finish this one more quickly. And Old Turf gets boosted by that. Also the asteroid course there, perfect. And now we just need a colony ship then to provide. Also taxes are too high, it's a 30% um, reduction. But we need that because there's no other way to get income right now. Once we have the trade route, we might think about it. We might think about that. There's a bomber. Perfect. So our first military ship just came out now of my shipyard. We can use this sexy lady here then for something, for some fighting or for some defense. That is. And let's just let it pass for now. Um, It can stay there. Also, in my shipyard, we're building an armed shuttle for now. I would like to go ahead with another asteroid miner afterwards and a colony ship All right so we can do that actually let's build the colony ship first put it in the middle that's possible okay colony ship is now up in the queue i think <laughs> this one we are building now perfect actually are we building all of them at once it almost looks like it because they don't change in turn if i move them up and down i don't think so though so we're just going to keep it like that let's end the turn and there's also a phantom has been completed, but that's really it. My ship is still waiting and... Right, we put it on sentry mode, so it's just waiting now for something to happen. Oh, it's also getting much slower, so... We should keep in mind that there is a ship for us. My discovery surveyor ship, let's get this one more to the debris that are within my area. I think this is more important. There's some space chunk waiting. And survey report, our ship has come across a device that has been recording events on our home world for over 300 years. We have no idea who this device belongs to or where it came from, but we have been able to interfere with it to get some new recordings. Um, 25 research, secrecy ideology is increased, or the scandals will make our people have a right to know the truth. This gives me a transparency and 5% income. Let's go with that. We are telling everyone and thus we boost our income there. How's my trade ship looking? It's halfway through, right? So on its way there to this area there, entering now the empire of the others then soon. And planet report, we've uncovered a precursor probe orbiting Cerebral. We are not sure why it was sent here. Let's study this. Ah, this one gives... Oh, sell the probe to the highest bidder. That's a lot of coin. I think this time we're going with the coin. I know, I know, researching it probably turns better long-term wise. But for now, we were really low on money and I just want to do that. Also, with that, we can reduce the taxes once more. Something I really would like to do because <laughs> approval rating is important and it was really, really low with the taxes. All right, they want to trade with us. The Inred Aiden. These funny looking fellas there. They want an exploration treaty. They want 70 of my credits. They give me open borders. The Xeno research. Oh, very good actually. And offer uh, one of these uh, Promethean goods. That's actually a pretty good deal, I think. We also get a nice tech out of it. Let's get this uh, research or this trade on the way. Perfect. Farming uh, food, we're at plus one for now. Um, that's still fine. And there we can see now the core worlds for the core world. And we're going with this one there. As this one will provide us hopefully with something. Holy cow. Yes. I was fully expecting that the AI would be very far ahead of us. As this is my first game ever in this one. Okay, so let's just put, put the Frighter now into this planet here. And with that, we have the first trade route now. With minimal ceremony, the first of your trading frigates pushes away from its slip. It will bring back with it a small portion of the galaxy's wealth. The first in what will surely be a long series of profitable exchanges for your people. 
Perfect, there you go. And with that, we are getting 3.6 coin into our system now. That is our first trade route. And this allows me now to also, um, once again, get my um, my taxes down there. So I've been waiting on this one after all. By the way, the game crashed in the meantime. So that's why the coin here is gone, right? Um, and I had to reload. So in this case here, trade route income provides me a bit. We're still not making really a lot of coin. So I should be looking out for... Um, other means of getting money in now we do have ideology points to spend i think two in total that's just perfect free trade grants a new free tri uh, trader hmm, that sounds pretty good we could also go for some control do we have any permanent boost long term wise that just goes nicely three re research after surveying an anomaly sounds pretty good too um then we have here additional policy homeworld tourism intimidating this sounds pretty good because um, intimidation, you know, um, pushes others away from us, so they are less likely to go towards us or declare war on us. That should be a good thing. Yes, let's actually go for the deep investigation here that gives me the permanent research after surveying an anomaly. Um, really good stuff there because we are still having a lot of them um, available right now. Also, I think we could go with um, something more of trading. Do we have anything like that? We don't, but 50% homeworld influence and 25% homeworld manufacturing increase sounds pretty good to me. The culture and standard of living on the homeworld civilization are admired and envied throughout the galaxy. This one also gives me le or more approval rating down the line if we want to. And also civilizations that declare war on us anger other civilizations. Sounds like a good thing there as well to protect us. Nothing else that would really come to my mind right now. We don't have a lot of tech yet that is missing, right? This one actually is also pretty good. 10% approval. Um, oh, 10% manufacturing, but minus 2% approval. Sounds good as well. Um, let's actually go with this one for now. It gives me the intimidation bonus as well. Let's go with that. Pragmatism, it is called. Should help us a bit down the road. Now we don't have anything to spend here now. We definitely do want to have another trader though. So I'm, I'm ready for more traders. Um... Where do we have my trader? There it is, my fighter. This one comes out. Um, by the way, I think, wait a second. Two turns, six turns. This one gets another anomaly over there or space chunk actually that it can go with. And we have also finished the mining missions. So we can now use citizens to mine directly for us and thus make it possible to have more well, money. Xeno Entertainment, there it is, begins specialization of entertainers on our worlds. Very, very good stuff. I'm looking forward to that. So that we can also finally improve the approval rating with people on board, right? And in Ultra, I just need to check this one there too. We are having the entertainment district coming along right now. Let's push this one down there again. The queue, actually, can we stop this one? Yes, because I would like to go the manufacturing district for now. Food is now getting a bit tight there, but other than that, approval ratings are high, so I don't need an entertainment district. Plus, I think it's a bit of a waste. Anyway, 70 credits, that is a lot of coin for and trade networks. They want from us for artificial gravity and open borders. I'm going to reject this one. Right, they don't they don't declare war on us right like this. I hope. I hope at least. All right, another colony ship is ready. We could, we should get someone on board. There you go. And this new colony ship is now going all the way up here to this one. So that we can get this core world up and running, right? So that more and more planets provide for this. And I think for Earth, there's really nothing close by anymore other than these planets out there. And that's it, right? I cannot provide anything else to the core world here. All right, we also get another survey report and in the debris fields, there was an ancient ship, repair it. We get a free colony ship. Um, we could also salvage it to get 300 coin out of it or refill our ranks for experience points. Oh, this is tricky. I think we're going with the colony ship as these are just really valuable. So there you go. Do we actually have someone on board as well? We have. Oh, but it's an Iconian. So it's someone not of a humans. All right, all right. We could say auto-colonize, and where does it go? Yes, it actually can go to this extreme planet here, because, of course, it seems like these are machines, right? At least they look like machines to me. 
self-governing food consumption, paranoid species that are still traumatized by their near extinction. Mm, no, these are not machines. But they can actually live there. I'm going ahead with this. Perfect, so we can actually colonize two planets now. Should be fine. And these guys here um, propose mining mission for Xeno Research. Yes, I would like to get my Xeno Research so we can go for... We can train some researchers then down the line, right? So these guys here, we can really train now scientists as well. We could also train some farmers, but nope, I'm not doing that. Oh yeah, food is really, really low. By the way, when do we get the next citizen there? 15 turns. We could also start upgrading now. Not something that I need to do. Finishing another manufacturing district there as well. We have ca uh, captured the famed mercenary Mirasu. Our people cry for justice. Imprison him. Rebuild his ship. Re unlocks the Ezen guard ship. And we could use someone like him in a govern... Oh no. Let's imprison him. We get 25% approval for 50 turns. Perfect. 50 turns at the approval boost here. Um, with that, I think we could afford to go with medium taxes. Let's do this. I need the money. Seriously, I need the money. In Earth, we have finished the next district. So manufacturing is looking better and better now. We could build another uh, building here, uh, an improvement. Or I could continue with another manufacturing district. Like here, for example, right? They're boosting each other there already with the adjacency bonus. And we could do just more and more. Actually, wait a second. Not here, though. Let's have it here. Because then I probably can build another manufacturing improvement in between. We have something like that. We don't have something like that yet. I will just wait. I'm still building that. As long as the food is not negative, we should be fine. So how is it looking with my colonization now? It should be close, right? There you go. And there you go. Do it! Doesn't want to. Where will you go? There is another sir. Oh! We have once again expanded our influence area there quite a bit. And also survey reports. There was another thing. Progress on the retribution mission. Nothing that I care about for now care about the hard facts also xeno entertainment that's pretty good now we can finally go for some entertainers and increases the reach of our trade networks hire civilians to gather resources and allows us to begin building advanced systems into our most vulnerable targets the only thing really that comes to mind here right now and yes both of these planets we can colonize now very good and both of them are now providing directly to all over here Right, so this is now being boosted directly. Very low, very, very low um, approval rating though. So we'll need to do something about that. Let's get us a, an entertainer out there as well. Why is the approval rating so low now? It's pretty high on these planets there. But it's very low on all turf. Is it really just because of the taxes? My, uh, minus 30% and we're at our population capacity. Oh. Population capacity? 4 out of 4. I do need some residential um, districts, some housing districts there. And that I need to do quickly. I think there is no bonus to that though. Housing? It will be just on planes. Yeah. Let's go with the housing district over there very important that we do that. I gotta say though, I'm finding the whole mis uh, interface here really confusing and how I should assign someone to that. So in other games like in Stellaris, I can immediately, immediately see what's going on. But here I'm having a bit of a trouble reading all of this data there and how I can improve it. And it's not really that easy. So we're building that manufacturing district that should be done right. There is another ship. Can I merge them? I can. Perfect. So my little fleet is starting to look like something. Okay, we can also upgrade our service ship here because it got enough experience points and we could add once again some modules to that. For example, some um, actress increase and sensor range, also anti meta warhead. This gives him some defense there, missile attack and missile range, but really a discovery ship doesn't need that. To be honest, let's just add some more movement points to that. There you go. 
another upgrade to that ship over here. And we can end the turn with that. We also got a lot of executive orders available right now. Oh, and our mutual trade continues to strength, strengthen our relationship. Perfect. We are getting better with those guys there as well. Um, I could go with another... Oh, there's something new in Galactic Festival. Holding a grand festival in all of our worlds will improve our tourism for 25 turns and cost me 10 control rating. Let's go ahead with this. Because another colony ship is not worth it anyway. We have way too low approval ratings there. Just in general, it's at 46 right now, but we're still at medium taxes there, right? So we're still making a good coin. Look at that. Trade route income is increasing. If I put it to normal, we should actually stay... No, we're not. Right. Such a huge difference between normal and medium. It's insane. Like normal, we are making a loss already again. But on medium, we are making a, a huge surplus. I don't know what really all of this is about because it's just such a huge difference every time I do something. Um, also, another survey report that we get out of that. We can get a free colony ship. There is a ship within the debris. Uh, all its systems shut down except for a small amount of power being used for stasis. Our away team discovers alien bodies. Um, our ship's doctors warn that the Festron are murderers intent on laying their eggs in other species. Oh, alright. We could awaken them, <laughs> get a free colony ship, but we would also awaken the Festron. Uh, I don't know. We could shut it life off, uh, shut off the life support and leave the ship. Collect anything of value. Let's go with this one here. Gives me also an ideology awareness. These sounds rather dangerous. The ones that we would awaken with that. And now we killed them basically. Stay tuned.